I've been messing around with Linux Lite on many low-end computers at this point, so using it on a 2015 Mac was quite different, but how well does it work? Well, before we find out, we need to install the OS. As this Mac is the main laptop I use, I wanted to install Linux Lite to a separate 1TB SSD I have, instead of the internal drive. That wasn't the smoothest experience. Definitely use a spare computer if you want to do a similar thing at home. All you need to do for the installation is make a boot drive, hold Alt during the boot process to select the boot drive, click the install icon and follow the on-screen instructions. This bit was a fair bit more difficult for me because I had to manually set each partition. It took a while but I got there in the end. The only issue I did run into was the Mac wants to boot into Linux first before Mac OS, but obviously the computer wasn't designed to do that, so now I have to hold down Alt every time I want to boot into either drive, hence why I said use a spare computer to set up the drive, but a factory reset should solve that issue. Now that Linux is installed, let's see what it can do. There's a list of popular programs you can install from their official repositories, like Audacity, OBS, etc, which should work fine, although I didn't test all of them here. General web browsing was a breeze, although it is on basically anything these days. Wikipedia, Reddit, Twitter, etc, all ran fine, with very minor starters or hitches, and with the high-res 1600p display, text looks crisp and easy to read. YouTube playback next. This was an interesting one, as under macOS, I struggled to get videos playing any higher than 1080p. Don't even think about 60fps. The GPU fan is always cranked at 100% when watching videos, hence I usually avoid doing so unfortunately. However, under Linux, I was able to get a decent experience at 1440p 60, let alone anything under, and although the fan was still cranked, the sheer detail made it worth it for specific videos. In other words, YouTube under Linux was significantly better than under Mac OS for me. Now to the games. The gaming experience was about what you would expect for a 60 year old integrated graphics. If you want to compare it to Mac OS performance, I have a video here running games on said Mac OS. Muck first, at 800p, roughly half the display resolution, we saw a just about 30 FPS average, which is a lot more playable than you would think. I played this for like almost five hours straight whilst I was away. It was in creative mode, but shut up. And I enjoyed it quite a bit. Danny, if you're watching this, I know he's not watching. I had a save feature in single player. I lost so much progress because of you. Unfortunately, Dirt 4 just refused to boot because apparently the Vulcan drivers weren't installed, even though they were. So I don't know what happened there, but Dirt Showdown was the next best thing. At 800p with the ultra low settings, we saw about 40 FPS consistently, with as high as the mid 50s on some areas. Ultra low doesn't even look that bad when two times anti-aliasing is on. The only main issue being the dips, it regularly dipped to the mid 30s, which can get distracting in a tense race. Not bad in my opinion. Celeste next. For some reason, the menu would lag a fair bit in full screen, but when in game, we saw a solid 60 FPS. True, it's a 2D game, but it's a fair bit harder to run than you would imagine, so this was a win in my book. Euro Truck Simulator 2 next. At 800p lowest settings, we saw a nice above 30 experience. Are you noticing a pattern here? The main issue I have is the low resolution makes it hard to see oncoming traffic, but other than that, not too shabby. Gary's mod next. This was kind of confusing to me, as I would have expected to get 1440p out of it due to its age, but alas, even on the lowest settings, I couldn't reach 30. I had to take it down to 1080p to get a solid 30 FPS. A bit disappointing, but at least it's playable in some form. Finally, it's Flat Out 2, one of my favourite racing games and runs really well on most low-end hardware. Here, at first I was able to get 60 FPS at 1440p on lowest settings. For a 3D game, that's fantastic, but after a few minutes I got really bad FPS drops pretty much consistently, making it unplayable. I'm not exactly sure why it's happening, but I assume it's something to do with the amount of particles and effects on screen, which is basically most of the game. It's a shame, as otherwise this runs great. So that's the video. Overall, Linux Lite is definitely a good option for when inevitably Apple drops support for this Mac. But one of the main issues I find with the Linux is the lack of polish. I'm not saying that all the devs are lazy, quite the contrary, but because Apple and Microsoft have way more resources, they can fine tune every part of the experience, apart from the drivers apparently Microsoft, but a couple of devs in their spare time can only do so much. I've not tried elementary or pop OS so much, and I've heard they're the most polished, so maybe go with one of them for a more polished but probably slower as they have higher system requirements experience. Also, yes, Super Tux Cart and Undertale run just fine, like they would on a Samsung smart fridge. See ya.